After a bit of a hiatus from my embroidery machine, I'm back at it and I'm here to share my updated method on embroidering towels. Welcome to The Sewing Report, I'm Jen. This channel is all about making sewing and crafts fun and approachable. Lately, I've been doing some embroidered gifts. That is one of my favorite quick and easy things to gift. You can do lots of different items from blankets to bathrobes to bath mats to towels. I've done a few towel videos in the past, but I wanted to share this one with you because I've changed a few things to my system for embroidering towels. So let's get right into it. First off, I got an incredible deal on this Turkish cotton set. They are so plush and I pre-washed the towels because they will shrink in the laundry. If you don't wash them, the design could become distorted over time. Lay the towel out with the tag on the back and fold in half on the long side. This is the 5 by 7 inch hoop and I floated the towel over it rather than hoop it because it's so thick. I used to use wash away stabilizer but I recently switched to tear away stabilizer. Cut a piece a few inches larger than the hoop. Tightly hoop the stabilizer. Mark a center vertical line. I'm just using a folded up piece of paper and a marking pen that's available in my Etsy shop. Protect the hoop by covering it with painter's tape. Why are we doing this? Because I'll be spraying the stabilizer with temporary adhesive and you don't want to get gunk all over the hoop. Do this in some type of makeshift booth so it doesn't get all over the place. Remove the tape. Lay the folded towel right on the marked line with the top of the band at the edge of the hoop. You can lift the end to make sure it's even by looking at the towel band and whether or not that's level. See right here the band and the edge match up pretty well. Again, double check that the tag is on the back. Secure a piece of water-soluble topper on the towel with pins. I do this with material like terry cloth, otherwise the stitching will get lost in the texture of the fabric. Clover Wonder Pins do work pretty well for this. They have left holes in my finer fabric, but the towels have been okay. These are going to be a gift, so I went with a monochromatic look and tried to match the thread closely to the towel color. This is 40 weight rayon Madeira thread that was provided by Nancy's Notions. Here's the monogram I'm using and it's linked below. For the hand towel, I chose the 3 inch size and moved it all the way down to the bottom of the hoop field. I also lowered the tension to 3.6 and that worked well for this project. This particular design has two parts, so you could do two thread colors but I only did one. The needle is a brand new Oregon Ballpoint 80 over 12. With this combination, I didn't experience any thread breaks, but I did do a test stitch beforehand. After it's done, clip any stray threads on the front and back. Remove the pins and rip off what you can of the topper and stabilizer. I did wash the towels again to dissolve the water-soluble topper, and the remaining bits of tearaway stabilizer are easier to pick off. For the bath towels, I used the larger 4-inch monogram design and left more space at the bottom. Still kept the tension at 3.6 and used the same needle and thread. One thing I want to talk about is design density. Thicker designs look better on towels. Some of the more intricate parts of the monogram didn't show up as well in the fabric's pile after washing. But overall, I'm still happy with the end results. 
The customized towel set looks very elegant and high-end. The towel set also came with two washcloths, but I didn't embroider those because I felt embroidery would take up too much real estate since they are small. And if you're here but you're totally new to machine embroidery, don't worry, I have an entire playlist with lots of videos all about using an embroidery machine and doing various projects, so check one of those out. If you did find this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button, and I'd love for you to subscribe to this channel. I post videos all about different sewing, quilting and craft projects. Anyways, I'm Jen with The Sewing Report. I'll see you guys in the next video. And remember, whatever you're doing, make it fun.